morning, wonderful human beings, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Remy, and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. Today we're gonna do a what I eat in a day, but I also wanna bring you with me to the farmer's market, and I wanna talk a little bit about food and sustainability, because one of the reasons why I went vegan was to reduce my impact on Mama Earth. So we'll talk a little bit about that. I just gulped down the matcha latte, and before we get any further into the video, we have a sponsor today. Public Goods is kindly sponsoring today's video, and it's an amazing place where you can purchase things like household items to over-the-counter products, low-waste kitchen items, and even food. It's membership-based in order to keep the costs low, and what I feel like they're most well-known for are their bathroom products. We won't be talking too much about those today, but my friend Shelly is obsessed with their shampoo and conditioner, which we discovered during our upstate trip, if you guys remember that vlog. Anyways, I'll be showing you some of my favorite products from Public Goods. We are gonna make a really quick breakfast. I've been recipe testing this protein pancake forever and ever, and I just, something about it I can't get right, but once I do, I'll share it. I'm getting close, I can feel it. We're gonna make that, and then we're gonna head to the market before it's late, because I always like to get to the market a little earlier rather than later for the good stuff. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so for lunch I want to make something with the things that I got at the market, but I also found some ingredients that are just really about to go off, like this tragic cauliflower, and I feel like this is a part of reducing food waste, so it's really important to me that I try and use up all the ingredients that I have in the fridge. I um, think I do a pretty good job of minimizing food waste, and then of course I compost, so... Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of that fact. I think it's important because I work with so much food that I do focus on that. So I've got this beautiful tempeh, which I actually brought back with me from California. It's really cool because it's black bean based. So this is going to be the protein. Ah, I think I'm going to roast a Japanese sweet potato, my one true love, my favorite vegetable or root. And then this very sad cauliflower, which is at the end of its life. I'll probably roast it with the sweet potato, and then I've got this market radish which I picked up, which is gonna add a little bit of um, bite and color. And then I got these really nice mushrooms from the market, which I think I'll also either roast or slice and saute, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll saute these with the tempeh. So really good to go into your fridge and just like turn everything that you have into a bowl and minimize waste and also get in some good veg. So let's do it. this public goods avocado oil and I really like this because when you roast it's really good to use an oil with a high smoke point and we are going to be roasting at a pretty high temp so I'm just going to do a little drizzle and this is going to help the seasoning to stick so I just have a blend of a bunch of my favorite spices here salt and pepper of course and just kind of helps it stick and gives it a nice roast okay and now we roast now let's work on these mushrooms. I don't like to wash my mushrooms. I always like to brush them um, because when you add water, it kind of like makes them soggy. I just like to dry brush them. Kind of like I do, you know, in the morning every day to myself. A little dry brushing, good for circulation, good for the body. These are actually really clean. I don't even really see very much dirt. So got our mushrooms and then we have tempeh. I want to do this together in a pan. Look how pretty. One day it's on my bucket list to learn to make tempeh. I just, I just have not yet fallen into it. Oh my God, look at how beautiful this is. Look at how beautiful this is. I know some of you are gonna be like, what? <laughs> but I think it's 
gorgeous. Um, let's cut into it. I'm gonna do half of this. <gasps> so pretty. I'm gonna grab this pan I've been using for a while. I love it. Um, I've been trying a new one because as you may know, I've had a little bit of a not so great experience with one that is in the background of this shot. And everybody seems to love it, but I'm gonna tell you right now that it is not all that. Caraway though, I can definitely vouch for. And this one, so far so good. I'm gonna go in with a little olive oil spray, just a spritz. And then I really like coconut aminos. And a little smoked paprika. Ta-da, and here we have lunch. We've got some shiitake mushrooms, our cauliflower, black bean and mung bean tempeh, watermelon radish, alfalfa sprouts, and some sweet potato. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this vegan parm sprinkle. And I like it because it adds a little bit of flavor and a little bit of protein too with nutritional yeast and nuts. Hello, I'm using the same pan for convenience. Work smarter, not harder, am I right? <laughs> But um, if you know me and you've been following me for a while, you probably know exactly what's about to go down for dinner. This is one of my go-tos when I'm lazy because it's easy. The nutrition is easy to balance. And it just tastes really good. So I'm sauteing up some random veggies. Um, the trick here is to just use whatever you have. And I love that. This is my favorite way to use up leftovers after a nourish bowl. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning to the pan. You can use your favorite all-purpose blend and our lentil pasta. I'm gonna add the greens and nutritional yeast. And here's dinner. This is my easiest go-to. You probably know that already by now. I'm gonna have some strawberries and that's basically gonna wrap up today's video. And we'll end on my favorite tip, which is to just eat more leaves and stems and skins of your produce. A lot of it is edible and actually highly nutritious and doesn't need to go to waste, but we've really normalized chopping off 25% of the produce that we eat. Strawberries are one of my favorite examples. I eat the leaves, they really don't taste like much and it saves me time too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe with the bell notification on. A big thank you to Public Goods for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. And you can use my code VEGGIEKINS to save. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Bye!